Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, welcome. And welcome cross watchers. I hope you are all having an amazing day so far. I am going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you at this moment. What is going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any. What do you need to know? So... Whenever you come across this reading will be the right time for you to see it. As always, take what resonates, leave out the rest. And if you are interested in a personal reading, I'll definitely leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you're interested in receiving notifications for future videos. And follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goalie on all platforms. So I'm hearing Mexico. I'm seeing cheersing, like someone cheersing, glasses, drinks, having drinks, celebrating. I'm seeing um, a beach. So travels, travel, someone is traveling. I'm also picking up on, I'm, I'm seeing Legos. So something about Legos or, or Legoland. I'm hearing mystic. Some of you may be mystics or you're coming across a mystic. I'm seeing a very faded meeting with someone. This meeting is like, it's with a stranger and it feels it's like a very small point or a very small conversation, but it's a very it's gonna lead to a very big impact in your life. And so let's get into this. I'm seeing that in the past or even recently, it's you've tried to move on from something. You've tried to start over and you've been trying to navigate a situation. Um I'm seeing plans, travel plans that uh, were canceled or delayed. I am seeing a 3D world, so it's like some sort of travel that it didn't happen, or it's like you're trying, you want that, but you just can't, you you just couldn't. It wasn't the right time. For some of you, you've been trying to move on from a person, but it feels like you're you're stuck. Yeah, Eight of Cups. You've withdrawn, and I'm seeing you said your goodbyes. You've um, made a, a choice to like start over with your life and, and to be happier. I'm seeing that this is a decision that's taken some time for you to make. And ultimately you've been trying to give to um, the people around you, uh, giving your time to, I'm hearing family and friends and spending more time with people. But you viewed somebody around you as trying to have some sort of like reconciliation i'm seeing there's been a conflict here a tough conversation it's like this person was sabotaging a situation they were playing mind games and now they're disappointed in themselves disappointed in how they handle a situation with you <clears throat> so we had we do have divine timing matter of time i'm hearing it's just a matter of time. So you're looking at a situation like right now is just not, not the right timing. I'm seeing October. So something from starting now in October, I'm hearing from now into the near future. There's going to be some sort of massive, massive change in a, in a good way, though. It's a positive thing. I'm seeing that there's going to be travel. So what what didn't happen before... It's going to happen for you, especially regarding like some sort of travel plans. And there's a situation right now that you look at as home. Like this is your home or somebody who makes you feel like that's your home. You see the potential of something being long term, long lasting um, to have a home or a family or being surrounded by family. It's like you see a life with someone. You, 
but I see that you want to have a conversation but there's something that you're holding back on seeing. You're viewing this person as grieving or mourning and being very upset. Going through some sort of loss. And you're observing them. Unable to make a decision. It's like not going after what they really want because they're in this um, emotional headspace right now. I'm seeing that you are trying to reveal something to this person. About... Some sort of compromise is like you want peace. Ultimately, I see wanting to have peace, wanting to heal or heal a situation in general. And wanting to, and it's like this has been suppressed. You've been suppressing this internally, but you no longer want to do that. So information coming out, wanting to reveal to this person, wanting to talk to this person. But the actions is showing me you haven't said anything yet. It's, it doesn't feel like it's the right time. I see you observing them or even watching them or keeping tabs on this person, either through friends or even like with tarot readings. But you you haven't said anything. I see mainly because it looks like this person is grieving or they're being very emotional. And they're, they're not taking any action. But it's like I see you really wanting to talk to this person. They feel like they've had some bad luck. A cycle is, is ending in their life with that Wheel of Fortune reversed. They look at this situation though like things have been kind of um, on and off. Distance. This person may be at a distance from you. They are feeling the distance here between you two. They're trying to focus on their career right now new financial opportunities but they're still heartbroken so they're still like healing it's like it, it's gonna take a, a while for this person to heal and they see you as the moon reversed so they're viewing you as like somebody who they don't completely trust But they also see you no longer holding back when it comes to what's going to make you happy. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Stagnation. Yeah, they see you as like being stagnant towards them. There's some sort of block here. A blockage. They feel like there's something blocking you from um, either coming together seeing each other once again or having a conversation or just being happy in general they feel like you're like they see you as a son so they do see you as someone who makes them very very happy and content but at the same time they see you as being very stagnant right now and they're healing and they're still like heartbroken eight of wands yeah it's they're trying to heal, take time for themselves. So they're still trying to heal their own their their own heart. I see they want to communicate with you, but they're still healing. It's like they need time to heal or I need time. I need space. So this person may have asked you for space or you're giving them space right now. So let's see what would they want to say to you. Immature. I'm just not ready for love. They're just not ready. I silence. I just don't know what to say. And they don't even know what to say to you. It's like spying. I'm still checking up on you. But they're still checking on you. They're still like observing you. Fake. What you are seeing is a facade. So they 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 present themselves one way, but on the inside, like they're feeling a completely different way. Like they, they may seem as like they're, they're happy and everything, but on the inside it's, they're just not, they're heartbroken, interference, other people don't want us to be together. I am seeing there's like 
other, they feel like there's other people that don't want you two to be together. A karmic situation. I have to fulfill my soul lessons first with other people. This person's been in some sort of on and off cycle with even other people. And they're still attached to that. Page of Wands, though. I'm seeing communication coming... Um, I'm seeing good news coming to you in regards to your job. So good news regarding to a job. I'm seeing this is going to be very exciting. You're going to feel very excited. And this may have to do with something having to do with social media. Or like online communication coming from online. Ooh. Oh. Whoa, what just, oh my goodness. Wow. I'm just in shock. I'm just shocked because someone's going to catch your interest. It's not this person. Spirit is saying, Ten of Swords, the situation is like pretty much over. Um, it's, it feels shitty. It may suck. But you have an um, exciting new beginning ahead of you. And it's like that cycle of pain and hurt and betrayal is ending. It is ending. You're releasing it. It's releasing out of your energy. And I'm seeing this has been a long road for you. But there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And Spirit is saying that there's good news. I'm seeing good news coming towards you from somebody who's very popular or has some sort of like a social media presence coming towards you, like public figure, someone who's very popular. I'm seeing someone very popular coming into your life. Um, I am seeing good news re regarding like a career. So someone may reach out to you on social media. I'm hearing even like LinkedIn. Get ready for your next relationship because this one is going to be long term. The Lovers, Ten of Cups. I see that things are going to move forward for you. You're going to find the willpower to move forward. I'm seeing you achieving something really, really good in your life in regards to not just your career, but also I'm seeing a relationship here. And this is going to be something long term. Whoever this person is, is going to be very popular. They're going to have some sort of like public... Um, Success for themselves. Justice. Justice is going to be served. Justice is on your side. You have good karma coming on your side. Everyone who's done you wrong, they're going to get their karma. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Like this person on there. This person's already getting their karma. And for so those of you who think you won't move on, you will move on. And you're going to be emotionally happy and fulfilled times 10. Harmony. Focusing on your uh, harmony, emotional harmony. You have a big achievement coming up. So congratulations, good news. This is well-deserved. Justice is coming in for you. So for those of you that you've been hurt and betrayed, like justice, just know that karma is coming around. You're going to get your good karma. I'm seeing the number 6, 17, 15, 7, 7, 7, 7, windfall. I'm seeing, I'm seeing money. You're, you're going to come across some, like a good, a good amount of money. I'm seeing the numbers 23, 33, 5, and 8. So let's get some letters. I'm seeing the letter W. W M I O J B. So those numbers or letters may be significant for some of you. But with that being said, this is what I'm gathering. Um, if you made this part of the video, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if it resonated. 
And again, if you're interested in a personal reading, I'll leave all of that info in the description box below. But with that being said, I hope you have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.